So today I have two sewing makes to share with you and we will get started right after the intro. Okay, so the first sewing make that I have for you is this top that I'm wearing. I have a bunch of things in my hands. Okay, so this top is Simplicity 8386 and it's really a simple top. I made it out of a jersey knit. It is stripes. It has a little bitty stripes, so I didn't even bother trying to match the stripes. But this is what it looks like in the back. And it does have elastic around the neckline. And when I got ready to put this on, I couldn't remember which way was which was the front and which was the back. So I did end up inserting a little button in the back right before I shot this video so that I wouldn't have a problem next time I decide to wear this top, figuring out which way was the front, which was the back. But yes, this is a little top. And this was actually my first time wearing this since I made it. But um, I like it. Okay. So my next sewing make is a jumper and this is McCall 7936 and I made view C and I made it out of seersucker fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it does have you know what I'm I'm not good at finishing my seam so there are some raw edges here on this back seam but um it does have an invisible zipper down the front. It has pockets on the side and for the pockets I just used some scraps. They don't really match but they're in the inside so you can't really see them. And the reason why I say you can't really see them is because this fabric is see through and um, I don't like that about this. But other than that the jumpsuit is okay. It reminds me um, of something like a little pair of pajamas almost but something that you can wear outside and I like it better with the belt so when I first made it I didn't put the belt with it but then after I wore it I was like oh I think I would like it better with the belt on and so now that I made the belt and I tied it in the front like in a bow I like it a lot better that way but yeah it's pretty simple it's just you know one one piece of course with the pockets and the invisible zipper in the front and like a little V front opening. So I will show you what this looks like on. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. Now that it's summer and everybody is barbecuing and grilling out, one thing I learned recently is that you can take a cast iron skillet and place it directly on top of a barbecue grill outdoors. And I did not know that. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought that that was super, super interesting and wanted to pass it along. So yes, thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next video.